Hey, y'all. Drive time. Drive time. Going to work. Got to finish. Well, I uh, finished my, well, my office PC. It's finished. Network in the office is finished. Phone cable is finished. I'm just waiting on a phone, my dumb butt. Uh, forgot that um, I need to order another uh, case fan from Fractal. And it's supposed to be here in a week or so. I mean, it ain't, it ain't gonna, ain't no big deal. I'm still gonna run the PC. I got plenty of fans in it, but I always like to have an exhaust fan, especially when it's right behind my my CPU tower cooler because it just straight out the back. Anyway, y'all see the title of this. Um, man, I, I want to really get into this but I want to be sitting still. So this, consider this a precursor. Oh, and then something else about, uh, there seem to be, there's a guy that we all in South Texas, Texas period, knew of us older cats. A guy named Navarra Williams, Navarra. I always say Navarro because O is masculine and A is feminine in Spanish and um so I've always said Navarro Williams I've actually met him twice I met him twice it was a business function at the Henry B Gonzalez Center downtown San Antonio I met him there and I met him at a golf tournament um also met Red McCombs uh the uh that was the um owner of the um uh, for for a, a minute there of the Minnesota Vikings and he owns uh, all the McCombs dealerships I mean everybody know Red McCombs rest his soul uh, Red McCombs had deep pockets boy everybody in South Texas you just say Red McCombs and, and you just get the you can smell the printing ink for money wafing through the air <laughs> But uh, anyway, I met him and Navarro Williams at the same time. But I also, like I said, but I did meet Navarro Williams. Paragon Cable was a cable company. This is back in the day. This is back in the day, back in the day. When you didn't have all this stuff you got. Now, there's no internet and high speed this. Satellite TV was just that. You had a big giant dish the size of a freaking suburban in your backyard you know on its own mast and got a motor and you have to hit the and that's Vidanya. god dang it where's the american stuff english english used to get the bbc on there pretty good though um, all the BBCs, BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three, do the BBC. <laughs> Austin Powers. Can you imagine them trying to make an Austin Powers in this trigger jiggly puff, multi hair coat, dyed hair colored, limp wristed, linguini spine world we live in now? Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. Anyway, dang it. Navarro Williams um, ran Paragon Cable. Then, then he was president, uh, vice president, then general manager. Then, because uh, if you had cable in South Texas, you got it from that brother. He'd be on TV, the commercials and everything, Paragon Cable. This is back when the cable, they, they ran the coax cable through your house and uh they charge you by room <laughs> but we wouldn't do it you hook up different tvs but if somebody switched the box where you got the main one set up in the living room it would change your channel you hey put it back on the game <laughs> oh man the memories of that but you know but the people you that had a little bit of coin 
you can get uh they have boxes in all the rooms and whatnot then later on they'd have specials where you get a two for one they do you know you be paying for the regular thing but they give you two boxes and that deal like only went on for like like a few days not even a week and you know everybody was ordering in because you know heck they couldn't keep up they you'd order your deal and all right we'll see you wednesday of next week chump because <laughs> you know just busy that's when san antonio was starting to blow up in size then to the size it is now San Antonio is too damn big, uh, too overpopulated for me. That's why we saw it coming in in Irv C1. If I would have been smart, I would have followed him the first time uh, 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 when, when he had left. I didn't, it didn't catch up to me until about four or five years later. Then I started making my exodus, but I could have left with him. You know, and I would have been set, but hey, we can't turn back the hands of time. Shout out to Irv C if you watching. You know, that my, my brother, that is my brother. But uh, one of the few friends I did still had from the day one that I hit Texas to now. Other people then came and gone, but me and him is still me and him. Dude, turn the corner. Um, Navarro Williams is being sweat. It's like it's like he's being wiped from the pages of history. And everybody, you know, black, oh, well, you won't credit. And look, man, this man ran and spearheaded the only cable TV company down here. Every, I mean, so yeah, he got paid. I'm quite sure he made plenty of money, which, hey, which is fine. He's supposed to. You know, anything you good at, don't do it for free. You don't do it for free. Get paid for it. Um, dude, old school Delta 88. What's up, old school? Still got his wire uh, hubcap covers on and everything with the Oldsmobile rocket on. Um, so we has talked, me and me and my boy, a uh, buddy of mine, Ken, he used to be a driver of mine. And we just sitting up and we is talking about it and he said man you hear uh navarro williams because then he became the president of the sam's industries s-a-m-m-s -M -M ministries uh it's in san antonio they do the food banks uh the homeless all that stuff blah 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 sam's is huge in san antonio huge got a huge facility too I've actually, because y'all know, that's the thing. When you're a tow man, you're going to pretty much know almost everything and everybody everywhere if you're paying attention. Because their truck, I towed a couple of their big delivery refrigerated uh, uh, trucks to the international dealer uh, there. Because y'all know I've been towing for them for ever. Uh, <clears throat> But anyway, so I, I've actually been there, and Sam's is huge in San Antonio. They have airwaves, and TVs, and signs, and all this other stuff. So, uh, so, but if you look up, look him up, and they, he said, "Man, look him up." And I said, "You for real?" He said, "Yeah." Well, he's retiring from the the president, and <clears throat> he's uh. So I look it up, and sure enough, he did. Because you have to remember, Paragon Cable was bought out by Time Warner Cable, okay, and for for it was some it was some insane amount of money. So which, like I said, which is fine, you know, because you know, hey, he built it, you know, he deserve his cut, and uh, so you know, so you know, he's all you know, he's one of the one percenters. Of anybody, black, white, don't make no difference. He he he's the he's the in the one percenters of all people easily, easily. And uh, but when I you talk to him, he don't talk. The two times that I talked to him, you know, it was like he he just you know seemed like a regular educated you know guy. And then people, oh yeah, well he talked like that to y'all because he know everybody in this thing is a business owner. 
So that's why even big business owners, little business owners, y'all still speak the same language. Mm, yeah, that's 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 uh, that's true. I'll, I'll put an asterisk behind it, and I'll leave it alone for right now. Not getting into the minutia uh, of that. That, that. That's true. It, 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 uh, we'll just leave it as, as true. Yeah. So, um, but you look. And it says nothing. Uh, all the stories, click click about him. Repeat, you know, former, former um, uh, uh, vice president and uh, uh, such and such of, of of Time Warner. All of them leave out the fact that he ran Paragon Cable. All of them. All of them. ABC, MSNBC, all of them. The local. The local news, San Antonio Express, all of them, they leave it out. That man done so much, he made sure he blanketed San Antonio first. Then he got everybody else. If you wanted cable in San Antonio, he got you cable. That's how, that's how this dude was. It turned into a big business, but he still treated it and treated everybody like they were small businesses. He would be in the commercials on TV. He would do them. You'd see them on TV. You'd hear them on the radio. You know, yeah, but that's because he's just selling the all cable. And see, you always gonna have some some slop mouth, uh, uh, knuckle dragon uh, ninja that's always gonna have something detrimental to say. And that's what the video that I really wanna talk about. Like I said, but I wanna be sitting still or I want to be in the office. I can be moving around. I got a new, uh, the magnetic lapel uh, microphone that uh, you plug the, uh, whatchamacallit, into the USB port of your phone and put the other part on. You come with two microphones so I can interview, you know, like if you want to be with somebody else, both of y'all can have one. Like it could be me and Truth, but y'all wouldn't understand what Truth is saying. Sly, you a coon too. You know, so now y'all are probably y'all probably understand that part, but the rest of it bass. That's all you hear is bass, 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 bass. And y'all know he's gonna give me some crap over that, right? But ask me, do I can ask me. Ask me. Yeah. Ask me, do I care? Ask me. I ain't gonna no, just play it. <laughs> Man, look, it's like they're wiping him out of the history books when it comes to technology and tech, because people don't give it. No, just like uh, TX Connect, the company that I used to work for, that I worked for for free at first as a, you know, as a worm. Uh, but then, I, but I was only at what you know. After two weeks, they like, nah, we got to get this guy a check. You putting in work, and it's a trip. A company that I went, that I, um, I applied to go, uh, I applied to, and they, you know, which is cool. And they was like, yeah, nah, nah, we good there, homeboy. And um, I stayed at the job that I was doing, Keller's. And then I um, was uh, moonlighting, like I said, TX Connect. Then went from that, uh, 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 went from that on to where I'm at now. But I had to go to the company that didn't hire me to set up a rack for their email server. <laughs> and I was just nonchalant as all get. <laughs> Hi, yeah, hey, I'm uh, here to uh, 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 set up the, your uh, email server in your server room. Yeah, this was dial up, y'all. I mean, this was, but DSL was on its way in. But uh, but yet uh, dial up, and of course, you know, T1, uh, T1, T3. <laughs> And uh, so I'm going uh, to set up the patch panel for it and whatnot and walk right past the same guy 
You know what I mean? That that gave me the brush off. You know? Hello? Hello? And he said, oh, they're setting, he's setting up the, uh, rack. and I just looked at him with that crap eating grin. That's cute. <laughs> so, hell, he probably done me a favor by not hiring me. But I ain't gonna say the name of the company. It don't matter. It don't matter. That, and TX Connect, uh, Time Warner, uh, um, uh, Time Warner bought them. And that's why I'm tying this in. Time Warner bought TX Connect. Time Warner bought Paragon Cable. And Time Warner just soaked up everything. Then AT&T bought Time Warner. So we broke up the 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 the, the, the was it FCC? I think it was FCC. Broke up the 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 telephone company monopolies. They broke that up because they were keeping the small companies out. So then all the small company then small companies popped up and then eventually time more uh eventually AT&T <laughs> bought them all back anyway so basically the money just went around in a circle ah, ah, let me leave that alone oh I was, I was even like does anybody else see that besides me am I the only one that Oh, okay, y'all bro broke up the bells. Ma Bell and AT and T and with court. He said, well, "Y'all can't do this." And broke it up. Next thing you know, then you got uh, uh, Verizon pops up and T Mobile pops up and and this one. What was the uh, what was the cell company? It was prepaid. Had a little purple alien with an antenna on his head. Um, I can't even remember the name of it. Then, you know, track phone and everything. And now look, AT&T going right around on the back end and buying them all back, buying them back up and pulling them into the fold. What can you do? Anyway, y'all, I'm done. Look, history books, digitally, you can put Navarra Williams into your search engine and you'll find nothing about him pioneering the uh, cable TV market in Texas as Paragon Cable. You will find nothing. You can put in his name and Paragon Cable and all it's going to lead to is a LA Times story from way back in the day when he was speaking to them about um uh, the taxation of how they went from paying uh, half a mil uh, or a quarter mil or something like that in tax a year to over a million the very next year and which caused them to rise the cable bills of each person $2.70 something like that that's all you can find of this man outside of the Sam's Ministries and he and he pioneered the cable industry for South Texas, and you can't find nothing about that, nothing. And to me, that's a damn shame. But you can find anything you want about some fake hair, fake eyelash wearing stank butt, uh, uh, t uh twerking her her big fat, uh, um, surgically enhanced, uh fix a flat tire pumped up ass and you can find that on every freaking channel that's a coincidence right